Hi there, welcome to this session on shell scripting. In the last session, we actually saw how to use the for loop. Now, before we go to the next example, we will give a very brief introduction to pattern matching in shell scripts. Before we take a look at the next example, we believe that this will be of use to you. This is just an introduction to pattern matching. Uh, you would have seen uh, other types of pattern matching commands like star and being used, but this is specific to shell script and this relates on how to manipulate variables using pattern matching using the dollar, dollar symbol. Okay? So, let us try for example, let us take for example, a path name. Okay? So, a path name usually looks something like this, say for example, slash home slash mjs raman slash long slash very dot long slash file dot name dot this, there is an example blah blah blah. So, this, this is something like this. Now, this is a single string. Okay? Now, let us see how we can split this string okay, and then match patterns based on these examples. See, uh, otherwise, I mean, it is very difficult to understand how a pattern matching actually works. So, let us take this. So, when we execute the shell script echo dollar path, we will see that this whole string will be displayed. Okay? So, let us start off there and then we will try to understand how these pattern matching works. Okay, this is essential to understand the next example. Therefore, let us try to execute this program and then see what happens. Uh, let us first execute this program like, so, so let us start. So, this example, so as I told you, we, once we execute the program, it says normal path okay, and the normal path you have printed the path variable which is nothing but m home mj is raman long slash very dot long and so on. So, what is given in this the, the third line after the next line after normal path. Now, let us look at the example okay? and if you remember just remember this that we are using file dot name dot this is what is getting printed after the next command. So, let us see how this so which essentially means they are removing this slash home slash mjs raman slash long slash very long is getting removed. Okay? Let us see how to do this. So, let us go to this pattern matching program and it says that echo path hash hash slash star slash. Okay? So, essentially what it means is that delete the longest path from the beginning that matches the following. Okay? So, longest path from the beginning that matches the following. So, let us go back to this example. So, what is the longest path from the beginning to match the following? So, essentially if you look at this, this slash goes here okay? and if you look at this, this starts with a slash and the longest path between these two is nothing but your slash home slash mjs raman slash long slash very dot long slash file name. So, essentially what you do is you want to remove match all this okay, and then you want to just print file dot name dot this is an example. So, if you want to do that, okay, let us look at this. So, you are doing this here. So, what happened was we gave a hash hash. So, if you once you gave a hash hash, whatever starts with slash and then ends with this slash and between that whatever is there was the longest one was removed. Okay? And so, therefore, what it got printed was file dot name dot this dot is an example. Now, let us take the next one. Okay? So, in the next example, so the next print that we see is mjs raman which essentially means slash home slash has disappeared. So, how to remove the first shortest path in the string okay, is given by this command. Okay? So, if you look at this command, I have echo path, path is what this variable carries and then you just take, if you put one hash, it means I have to remove all those shortest path between two hashes. Now, if you look at the two hashes that exist, this is the first hash and this is the, sorry, this is the first slash. So, this is the first slash and this is the next slash. 
in between these two home exists and that is the shortest one that matches between these two. Therefore, you get home removed and it actually prints MJ's Raman long and so on, all the rest of the stuff. Similarly, the next variable it says path percentage dot okay star okay. So, let us so essentially what does it mean delete the shortest path from the end that matches. So, guess what it is going to print if your guess is right it is going to print up to and is this correct let us see. So, let us look at the third line that that have that executes after this. So, the third line that executes is you have the normal path then you have the first path and then the third line uh, after we execute this is you see home mj is raman ok long very long file name dot. So, we drop that example ok which is what we expected ok and finally, when we put when we put echo path percentage percentage dot star which essentially tells you that you should go for the longest to match that is there from a dot. So, let us take a look at this what is the longest to match from a dot. So, if you look at this this very dot long is the longest to match from the end ok because after this there is no dot here ok. Therefore, it removes all these values ok after this dot ok and then it prints only home mjs raman long dot very. I hope this clears you on how this pattern matching can work with respect to dollar I mean this manipulating the path variable. Now, let us now go ahead and then remove the comments of the last five lines. So, we will go and comment out these first five lines ok and we will go and and then we will remove the comments of the last five lines we will just leave the path example there. So, let us make so as I told you before IFS is the internal field separator. So, now what we will do is previously our default IFS was slash and now we will move to dot I internal field separator being dot ok. Now, after this let us see how this command will work ok. So, we have moved the internal field separator to dot and let us try to see how we can work with this command. So, if the internal field separator is dot then I told you that it will be reading it as a string. So, let us run this program. So, in this case the normal path is home mjs raman long very dot long slash file name and so on. Now, once I put the internal field separator as dot then what happens is that we are no longer dealing with a single string we are now dealing with multiple strings take a look at this. So, if you look at this example. So, if you look at uh, the path the normal path was slash home mj is raman long very long ok, but then look at this the next one ok. You just the internal field separator being this. So, this guy goes ahead and then removes all those dot and and it just prints the whole string. So, what does this do? So, what is the longest pattern matching? So, the longest pattern matching is the same stuff itself ok. And then, so what happens here is you print the path and then once you have the internal field separator. So, let us let us go and take a look at the program. So, if you look at this program. So, the first time you print the echo path you get this printed. So, there you have all those slashes and dots. The next time you print echo path you see that because I used IFS to be dot then it prints some bunch of strings ok and those strings have a space. So, if you look at this the next time it prints a path then it removes all the dot and then puts this as an example. So, now if you go to the third part so it says all the slashes with the longest slash slash style ok. So, now what happens is that with the longest path. So, if you look at the example here ok we will run this. So, look at this the longest path ok the longest path is if you look at this it starts from home mj is raman long very long and after that the file name this is an example is the longest path 
then he takes the shortest part the shortest part is you remove home and then everything else is printed as a string and then finally from the uh, reverse you go up to example example goes out and then you go up to long goes out okay so based on this pattern matching let us try to see a very small example and let us see how powerful this pattern matching is so let's consider this example of of using pattern matching it's a very small example but then it's very powerful okay so let us take you so essentially what this does is we'll first run the program and then try to understand uh, how this pattern matching works okay so let's run this program so essentially what this program does is okay it tries to identify whatever we had done previously it does tries to do the same thing okay so if you remember previously we had tried to do the same thing uh, we achieved it in a different method so this program we achieved it using the for loop so in this case what we are trying to do is we are trying to achieve the same result in a different way so using string matching so how does this work so if i remember i had told you that uh, with the string matching okay you could match parts of a string and then go on working it in a loop okay in the previous example in we actually worked in, with respect to a for loop so we took a for loop we found out the internal field separator of the for loop and then based on the internal field separator what we did was we went ahead and then put that in the for loop now what we are trying to do is we are taking the whole path variable so this while dollar path implies if the path variable becomes null okay then exit the loop if the path variable does not become null okay what you do is you go ahead and list out the directory now how do you list out the directory you take the now remember this we in the previous example we saw person person colon star what is it now this colon was the field separator so what does it mean you try to take the longest path okay and then you had to remove that longest part take the first few parts i mean from the end you remove the longest path from the end take the first part and then print the directory so let us say for example i had something like this so let's say i had example slash user slash bin so let us say i had something like this slash user slash bin colon and i had slash user slash s bin and then i had something like slash user slash local slash s bin okay let us say i have something like this now the third line what it essentially says is that it say it says okay split the string something like this okay hope you understand so it, it says remove the longest match from the end and once i remove the longest match then what is the result you see that this will be executed as ls minus ld minus ld so this will be executed something like this okay which is actually what we want and then what happens in the next line so if in the next line what happens is the path variable is again initialized to what the first component of the shortest of the shortest match so the first component so the path variable becomes something like this the path variable in the next line becomes something like this again it goes into a loop since the path variable is not null what happens next time is let us say it becomes like this slash user slash s bin okay and then the path is initialized to now user local bin slash local slash bin and then finally i print minus ld slash user slash local slash bin so this is how this program executes so if you look at this this is a variation of printing the correct the, the existent directories in the path variable okay partial variable and this is now if this is another way of writing the program in the previous program actually you saw that we had actually used the for loop 
and then split the string. So once we went into the for loop and then we gave the IFS. So if you remember in the previous example that we saw, we put dot as the IFS and once we put dot as the IFS, then the string was split based on the dot. So similarly, okay, in the for loop, we put the IFS as call and therefore the whole long string of the path variable was split according to the colon as the field separator. Now the point is that this, the both of these program achieve the same end result, but except that they achieve it in a different way. Now, which one is efficient and all that is a question of debate. I mean, uh, hopefully this, this method is much more efficient. Hopefully we, I mean, we, we can just show that this method is much more uh, efficient, and, but it's slightly difficult to understand. So this pattern matching, okay, is, is something very important. You need to ensure that you, you learn about this in shell scripting. It can make your life extremely easy when you do this kind of scripts.